I can remember early days when I was living the dream, right? I got the machine shop that I wanted, and I can remember standing there thinking I arrived. But then I can also remember what happened. It turned into a job. It was no longer a dream. It was a job, and I was working tons of hours and not making any money. What OtterBox does is protect technology. What most people know about today is the cell phone cover. As a small business owner, you're very much about just getting it done every day. You're not thinking, well, how do I set this up so I'm not right back here tomorrow? The right things weren't in place. The systems weren't there. The processes weren't there. The vision wasn't there. I didn't know how to communicate a vision. I didn't know how to put it into place. I didn't know how to read a financial statement. I remember those feelings of feeling like I'm on a giant gerbil wheel, just going round and round and round, doing the same thing over and over. I just have to do it faster and harder, and surely I'll be successful. But finally getting to the point where it's like, I just, I can't do this anymore. I knew I had to do it different. And that's when somebody gave me the book E-Myth. Coming from Trinidad High School and no formal college education, my education really came through e -Myth. I feel like I got an MBA in my business while working on my business. I never found another program out there that did that for me. And I looked high and low. Otter would not be here today without e -Myth. Kurt came into this really, really wanting to learn. He needed to know something. He just didn't know what it was he needed to learn. He hated managing. He hated operations of a business. He just wanted to come up with the next idea and have it done. If he doesn't have the basics in place, nothing else is going to work. It was instrumental in the foundation that it didn't have. Where are we going as a company? How we're going to get there? Every bit of what we've talked about and every module within EMIF is aligned with that vision. And then it's executing that. You really have to get that right. Because it directs everything going forward. It does to me to this day. There's going to be some things that will put you out of business if you don't deal with them. And your EMIF coach will be able to help you through those. But at the same time, you have to continue to work on it. That's working in it. Okay, putting out that big fire. But you gotta work on it, and you gotta work on it in the right order, in the right process, and you gotta make sure you get it before you go to the next step. It's paid huge dividends, physically, mentally, spiritually, and it was the best investment I ever made. I was challenged by my coach, Donna. For me, I felt, and still to this day, feel very accountable to her. I felt like I did not want to let her down. I felt like we were in this together. And that's what you need. You've got to have a friend, somebody standing there with you. And that's what a good coach is. Somebody who's going to sometimes tell you what you don't want to hear and tell you to get right when you're wrong. And that's what Donna was for me. What really matters? It isn't stuff, it's relationships, it's people. And how do you affect those people that work for you? How do you affect your community? I mean, that's the stuff that matters. You know, that's the stuff that's wealthy. When you're lying on your deathbed, it's not all the shit you accumulated over the years that matters. It's those relationships, those what matter.